If you're looking for cheap and instant ultimate team coins, be sure to check out UT Coins for you. Their links will be in the description down below. Three pound for a hundred k, and if you use my discount code R9 Rai, you will get an extra five percent. Yo, what's going on, people, and welcome to this video, which is going to be about my top five ultimate team players of all time. That's going from FIFA 11 to FIFA 14, by the way. I did play FIFA 10, but I kind of had just average teams. I weren't like an avid player of FIFA Ultimate Team back in the FIFA 10 days, so that's why I haven't included any players from there. So we're going from FIFA 11 to FIFA 14. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comments section down below who was your top five players going from fifa 10 to this current fifa i want to see if your guys players are similar to the ones i think are the best and if you want me to do more of these videos drop this video a like i could do stuff like top five strikers from all fifas midfielders defenders etc so let me know in the comment section without further ado here is number five and it is gonna be taiwo from ac milan from fifa 12 and you might be thinking why the fuck has he got a left back in his top five players of all time in Ultimate Team, this guy was an incredible, incredible left back. Look at his stats. He could defend, had incredible pace, insane free kicks and awesome heading on him. So that's why he's in there. I used to play him at centre back sometimes, which was ridiculous. But what a player Tywo was. He's coming back to Ultimate Team next year, by the way, because the Turkish League has returned. Number four is going to man of the match. Ezekiel Lovetsy again from FIFA 12 and mate what a card this was Lovetsy had man of the match 87 rated left wing 94 pace 86 shooting 96 dribbling and also 83 passing just some awesome stats he was like the five star skills Lionel Messi he was actually on par with Cristiano Ronaldo I scored so many insane goals with him as you can see in FIFA 12 as well he had five star skills which have been taken away from him in recent FIFAs, which is a shame. I don't understand what EA do that. If a player is given five-star skills, it should never be taken away. Yes, he might not pull off skills anymore for PSG, but once a player does them, they should always have that in their locker, in my opinion. You can leave your thoughts in the comment section. Moving on to number three is going to be the Silver Al Sharawi. And yeah, I just fucking fucked his name up again. I always do that, but he's the best card well the best silver card sorry to ever exist in any fifa in my opinion five star skills five star week for incredible shooting great pace great dribbling oh my god you know what cut this video here i'm going to show you an awesome goal i scored with him So that's the incredible goal I scored with him and I scored many many more as well you can check my montages and compilations on my channel he was just ridiculous and he linked with Ibra, Robinho, Pato, Cassano all had five star skills as well as him so his incredible AC Milan team back in FIFA 12 I do miss them days and he also had five star skills again most of these players in here have five star skills as well as this guy number two Ibrahimovic you might be thinking what the fuck is wrong with Danny here he's put Ibrahimovic at number two he raves about Ibra all the time in FIFA 14 why is he putting him at number two you're gonna find out in a second but Ibra what else do I have to say about him six foot five five star skills a perfect striker in this game I've used his team of the year version and he's unstoppable great pace incredible shooting near enough 99 shoot 88 passing, incredible heading, and also great, great dribbling. You can check out Dare 2 Zlatan if you want to see some of the goals I've scored with Ibra this year. Moving on to number one, it's Ronaldinho. Third in form, Ronaldinho from FIFA 11. Five star skills again, and I'm just a huge, huge fanboy of this guy. Anyone who follows me on Twitter or follows my videos or whatever knows. I enjoy using Ronaldinho so much and when he had this third in form, boy look at his stats, near enough 80 pace on that, 79 pace he had, 92 shooting, incredible passing, insane dribbling, 5 star skills, obviously you could play him as striker, you could pretty much play him anywhere on the pitch, he was incredible, I wish the FIFA 11 servers were still up because I'd love to go back and play with Ronaldinho again on FIFA 11 and I'll tell you what right now I'm going to show you a couple of goals I scored with him back in FIFA 11. Yeah! Yeah! 
So yeah, as you can see that I replicated the goal he scored against England in the 2002 World Cup on FIFA 11. One of the best goals I've scored. He was incredible to use, but that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to drop a like rating. Leave your comments in the comment section of who you think are the best five players of all time in FIFA. I mean, these are obviously my opinions. I enjoy five-star skillers, so that's why most of them were five-star skills. And yeah, if you want me to do more of these videos, like top five strikers, midfielders, defenders, etc., you can also let me know in the comment section. But anyway, I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.